Thank you. Thank you very much, DJ. Um, again, my name is Jose uh, Astua. I was born in Costa Rica. It's a beautiful country. And uh, I came to the US in 1997 uh, to, to study theology over at Catholic Theological Union. In the year 2000, I moved to Holland. I started working at St. Francis de Sales. And um, I, after three years, I, I went to work over to uh, Grand Haven at St. Patrick's in Anthony's Parish. I was there for 16 years. And of course, the reason that I'm here is just to talk to you about my personal uh, encountering God in creation. I, will, I have to say that uh, the first thing that I can remember encountering, and I don't know if I can call it God from the beginning, but but to be amazed by, by nature was uh, at my house, laying down on the floor, um, just right outside of, of, the, of the door, looking at the mountains. And, and those are the mountains, the ones that you are seeing, uh, those are the mountains that I was looking at and, and looking at the, the, the clouds over the mountains. It was just, it just amazed me being laying on the ground, looking at those mountains and looking at those uh, clouds, making all those different forms. Um, I could see animals, I could see um, different shapes, I could see monsters. Uh, forming on those on those clouds, and I was amazed, and I was uh, I was impressed by the beauty of nature. And I remember uh, myself thinking, if this is here on earth, I just cannot wait to die to go to heaven because it gotta be better. That, that was the the uh, that, that's the promise that we get from God that it's gonna be better. Uh, so I think at that moment was the first time that I started making a connection between the natural world and the supernatural or the spiritual work in my life. And I also had the, the chance uh, uh, just right across the street from my house. Uh, there is a little creek. Well, it is a creek when, when it is the dry season. It is a river when it is the rainy season. It really gets full of, of, of uh, uh, water. Um, you know, I, I remember seeing trees floating in the river, just going because the current was so so strong. And um, and I remember uh, during the dry season going down there to that river and laying on one of these big big rocks that we had down there, and um, and listening, listening to the sound of the water. I, I thought it was the most beautiful uh, melodies that 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 could be created in life. I remember looking at nature itself. It, it was so exuberant. Um, all the greens, all the different kind of plants, uh, all alive. The different insects that I could see and animals, you know, butterflies, uh, dragonflies. And there were so many, so many little creatures uh, living in that small place. And, uh, and it just transported me to, to somewhere else. And I think at that, at that time, I still didn't know what exactly that was. But now that I think about that, I just can see that all nature was screaming, the creator. All nature was talking to me very loudly about the loving God that we have, who has given us all this for us to, to enjoy. Now, we have to admit that uh, not everyone is the same. Um, there might be some people that don't, don't understand life or don't see God reflected in, in, in everything that they see. But, uh, and I want to relate you to this story. When I was at CTU, uh, there I, had, I was taking this class on uh, the problem of God. So you got to imagine that the, the teacher or the professor was a very, a philosopher and uh, he was part of a religious community and he was just telling us a story. He said, oh, you know, guys, I went over with a friend of mine to the Grand Canyon and my friend 
was so amazed by the immensity and the beauty of the Grand Canyon. And I, he just didn't know what to do. Um, he was so experiencing God at that moment. And he turned, you know, he, turned, he turns to us and he says, and the only thing I could see was a hole. So not everyone uh, has the same uh, sensibility for life or to encounter God in different places. So we are almost like a radio or a television. It has to be tuned in the right uh, in the right uh, signal to be able to get that encounter. After this little little parenthesis of, of uh, you know knowing that not, not everyone needs to see God the same way I say it or everyone says it, um, there was a time when I was already working in Holland, Michigan. Uh, for, for St. Francis de Sales, that we invited a priest to do a class on um, communications. So um, during those those days, I had to go and pick him up from the house. And I don't remember, it might have been just to go for lunch or to bring him over to the church for him to teach us again. Uh, but I went over, I knocked at the door, you know, rang the doorbell and he came out. And, and he might have been 70 years old around at the time. Uh, and I, I, you know, I say hi to the priest and I started going over all the things that I thought needed to be done or, you know, uh, at the church, the parish, all, all the different issues, what, what we were going to do. And suddenly I lost his attention. Suddenly he was just looking at something different. And, I, and then he said, Jose, Jose, look at this, look at this. And what he was looking at was a seed flying, you know, a, a then lion seed. Just flying, and he was amazed by that dent line. It was very interesting because it made me uh, remember um, the Bible when uh, Jesus tells us that we have to become like children to enter the kingdom of God. And this 70 year old man was bringing my attention, almost forcing me to really pay attention to the manifest manifestation of God on that little and insignificant seed. Then lion just flying by. We might have spent five minutes just looking at, at, at the seed, how it flew around and how perfect God had made that, that seed that it was able to fly, to go and to get into a place and to create life again. And that brought me uh, again, uh, helped me to continue experiencing um, the creation and the creator uh, in this creation. I invite you today um, to go there just for a little bit and to let yourself be amazed again by nature. To let God encounter you again and those little things, I invite you to go and encounter God today the same way that Jesus came over to the woman at the well to her encounter. Thank you very much and I hope you have a great time with uh, your uh, personal reflection.